Hi guys, what's up? I hope you're doing great. In this video, we're learning a very important skill. We'll be learning how to take our Golang project and put it onto uh, the AWS server so that the whole world can interact with that project. So if you're watching this video and um, this is a video about Golang and AWS, so I'm assuming that you at least have some Golang and AWS experience and you at least have an AWS account uh, because those are the prerequisites to this video. Uh, without that, you cannot uh, proceed, obviously. So uh, this is, uh, if you can see my screen right now, so this is the old approach of uh, deploying on AWS, right? So you create an AWS EC2 instance, you uh, go to your, uh, what do you call it, your dashboard and you create an AWS EC2 instance and then you SSH into your VM, you clone your Git repo there uh, into your new VM and then you install Docker on that new VM and then you run that Docker project. So this is the old approach, we won't be doing this. We're doing something different. So we're using a technology called as Docker machine. So if you uh, have some experience with Docker, You'll uh, know about Docker, you'll know what Docker Compose, you would have heard about Docker Swarm, but probably you, you've never heard about Docker Machine, right? So this basically containerizes your project and then it also helps you to create um, a machine, any type of machine on AWS and then uh, push your project directly. Uh, into AWS. So it's a, it's a magical, magical uh, technology. And if you've never used it, then, uh, you know, we'll be using it right now in this project. Uh, so it will take our project directly to AWS. Okay. Now, uh, let me take you through our entire process flow and how we're going to be um, taking this project and deploying to AWS. So you'll have to have a Go Golang application and you'll have to dockerize it. So these two things I'm not covering in this video because I already have a video about how to do this. So it's... Um, let me actually go to my channel and show you the video. So it's... It's uh, this video, Docker plus Golang. So this is the video you need to watch. You'll learn how to create a small Golang project and also how to dockerize it. So these two steps I've already covered in my video. Now, there are two things, uh, three things that you need to do before you start uh, working on this video, right? So one thing is you need to install AWS CI, C CLI. So if you've been working with AWS, you have ex AWS experience, you've probably worked with the CLI. It's basically, uh, instead of going to your dashboard, you can just have a CLI tool uh, working with you directly inside your terminal and you can directly, uh, you know, uh, spin off instances directly from your CLI tool. So if you have, but if you don't have any experience with CLI, this uh, in the doc, uh, documents for Amazon, it's given. It's it's a very very simple process. There's this one command, th this one command that you can run. Or if you're not comfortable with running such huge commands on AWS, uh, on, on your Ubuntu machine, sorry, you can uh, do this. Basically, you can. Uh, there's one command for curling and getting the AWS uh, CLI file, uh, the zip file, and then you can uh, you know unzip it. You can unzip it and then you can just install it. It's just three different commands. That is that is all, all right. And the, the other thing is about updating CLI2. That's what well, you don't need that. You just need this, right, how to install it. So there's AWS CLI1, AWS CLI2. So the, the two, AWS CLI version two, that's what you have to install on Linux or uh, Mac or Windows. It's very easy. It's, it's the same thing basically everywhere. So all of these commands will also work on PowerShell. Uh, but you can also uh, check out the documentation for the PowerShell version of all these commands uh, in case they're different. And then after you have uh, installed CLI, AWS CLI, you have to just run uh, an AWS configure command to just to configure, uh, and basically connect your AWS CLI with, uh, from your local machine to the AWS account to connect them. You'll need an access key, you'll need a secret key at your AWS region and your output format, which is JSON. So you can just go through, uh, you can just search on how to configure uh, AWS CLI and then you'll just go through these steps. It's very easy. If you're not comfortable reading documents, there are hundreds of videos on uh, YouTube on how to actually install uh, AWS CLI and how to uh, configure it. So these two uh, steps are not an issue at all. These are very, very simple steps. A couple of commands, that is all. And then you'll have to install Docker Machine. So uh, if you already have Docker installed on your system, if you already have uh, Docker uh, Swarm and Docker Compose installed, then Docker Machine is very similar. You just have a Docker Machine install command. You'll find it anywhere on the internet. So if you go to Google and you say Docker Machine install, uh, it's saying Docker install Compose, not about the machine. But it's there somewhere. I mean, it's uh, Docker. Actually, it's Docker machine, right? So if you don't say install, and Docker and machine has a has a hyphen, hyphen in between that. So this is how you can install Docker machine, right? Like this. 
so the first helps you curl the link and then you do a couple of things and then basically it's installed pretty simple no uh, no complications here so docker machine also you can install it really easily so one two three four five these five steps these two i've covered in my video already these two you can uh, watch thousands of videos that exist on youtube you can get it done easily this it's a simple command you can install docker machine and then after that is where we'll start our journey we'll actually start um, to create our docker machine uh, sorry our docker machine and put our project into aws and then what we'll do is we'll switch from our machine uh, from our local machine to the to the server uh, automatically there's a command for that and then all the commands that you'll run all your docker commands that you'll run to run your project will be running on uh, the ec2 machine and not on your local machine all right so we'll switch to that and then we'll run the app and then uh, after everything is done uh, we'll delete our docker machine this is just an optional step i mean you don't have to do this i'm doing it because i don't want this because this is a test for me i'm not actually deploying a proper project right so um, when we'll run this command uh, in this one single command we'll uh, create a docker machine and we'll create an ec2 instance also at the same time and we'll make the app uh, we'll, we'll transfer our entire application to that ec2 machine all in one command and uh, so in our dashboard we'll be able to see that uh, ec2 running here once we run that command all right so let's head over to our terminal and i'll show you now how to actually do all of this all right so we are in a terminal now and i'm in the folder where we've kept our docker test project so this is the project that we've built in the video that i just showed you the docker golang video so this is uh, a dockerized golang project and you can build it uh, watching my uh, video that i just showed you so anyhow so we're in this project and this is the project that i want to send to my uh, ec2 instance right so uh, but before that what i'll do is i'll show you that i have um, created as an ssh file it's called id and underscore rsa it has a private and a public um, so the, it's, it's always a key right R rsa ssh keys are, are keys uh, prior like a pair pair keys right so these are the two keys that i've created for myself and uh, so you you'll need ssh keys uh, by the way to complete this uh, step so uh, you can just try out this command called ssh key gen and it will create these ssh keys for you so i just want to show you that uh, you'll uh, there are thousands of resources on the internet on how you can create ssh keys right so let me go back where i was so i was inside work slash src slash github com user and docker test okay so we're back here and now we'll run our command that basically is the main command here for this uh, video so it's a multi-line uh, shell command all right so we'll say docker machine create minus d which is a detached instance and we'll say amazon ec2 so amazon ec2 is the um, machine that i want to create it could be anything else also and i'll put this uh, back slash here so that i can write another line so if you see this arrow here that means you're writing on another line in the same command and you'll say amazon ec2 and we'll specify the region in my case it is us to us west 2 and and we'll specify the instance type so we'll say amazon ec2 instance type is t2 micro now if you leave this step out if you don't specify the instance type it will create t2 micro by the default but i don't want to take the chance i don't want it to create a bigger instance than t2, t2 micro so i'll uh, you know <laughs> put this line i mean i'm sure if you're also sensitive about your amazon pills then uh, you can also not ignore this step anyhow so now I want to tell uh, this uh, Docker machine where where are my SSH keys, right? So uh, I'll say Amazon EC2 SSH key path. It's at slash SSH slash ID RSA. These are my keys. All right. And now we want to name our Docker machine, or and th this will be the same as the name of the instance that you'll see on your dashboard. So you'll say AWS new CLI and 
I think I'll call it test. See, like test. So let's run it. And this takes a long time to run. Okay, this command will take a long time to run. What I'll do is I'll also uh, I'm not sure if YouTube will allow me to do this, but I'll try and leave this command this command in the uh, description box below. And sometimes many of you ask me that why why don't I keep these commands in the description box below? It's because YouTube doesn't allow me to put them in comments or in, in description because they don't allow these type of backslashes and you know, these type of special characters. They don't allow it because I think they're just kind of some script that I'm trying to hack YouTube with. So I'll try to put this, but I'm not sure if I'll be able to do it. But uh, otherwise, I think it's pretty clear. I mean, you can copy it uh, very easily from uh, the way I've written it from the screen. And what I'll do now is, since it's going to take a long time to run, I'll pause this video now and I'll come back once it's uh, the whole process gets completed. So as you can see, now it stopped running. It did all these steps. It took about somewhere around the seven minutes. Six to seven minutes. You know, it'll take more depending if your project is more complicated. It'll take more time. And so let's go to our dashboard. So this is my dashboard, my EC2 management dashboard. And I'd, like I'd shown you earlier, there was no machine running here. And now there's an AWS CLI test machine running. All right, so we can go and check it out. Check out the details, blah, 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 blah. Everything works. So uh, now what we're looking for is the public IP address. So let's go to the public IP address. And now when we'll see, there's nothing running on it. But we want to make uh, you know, our project to run there. So what we have to do now is we have to say, uh, we have to come here back. And then we have to uh, you know, run commands in this EC2 machine. So right now, all the commands that we're running are running in our own localhost. But we want to run the commands that, that whatever we put in our terminal to be running on an EC2 machine. right? So for, the, for that, there's a command. So it's eval and dollar docker machine env aws new cli test so with the help of this command what happens now is that um, all the commands that we'll run now will basically be running on our ac2 machine that's why this command running this command took some time so now um, the command that we ran in that project the docker golang project at the end the docker run command that's what we'll have to run now out here so now we have to run two commands basically right one will help us to build an image from the project and the other will take that image and run the container which will basically run our project so uh, like i said you know whatever command i'm running in my terminal now is basically uh, being run on the easy to machine so we have to say docker build minus t docker test docker test is the name of the project and we'll say dot at the end which tells you that at this location is uh, where docker test resides and you have to build the file so it'll take a while it'll you know download all these things it'll pull this firstly pull this image from uh, the docker library called alpine and then it'll you know pull other couple of things it'll run all these commands that i've written in my docker file so it says successfully tagged so it's successfully done it didn't take much time and now what we have to do is we have to run the project so we'll say docker run minus p 8080 because we wanted to be running on 8080 port on the ec2 machine but our project runs the project on 8081 so we'll say minus it and docker test is the name of the image and now it seems like the project is running so all we have to do is go back here i'm already on port 8080 and start it and as you can see hello and slash this, this is the project that we built in that docker golang uh, video so everything works perfectly and i'm sure you've learned a lot in this video uh, and basically this is the right way uh, uh, to deploy a golang project on aws using docker machine and um, this is a, a significantly uh, easier uh, project right the one that we've built but we'll build more complex projects and I'll show you how to deploy those as well. You don't have to worry. So now uh, if you have a simple project, you can you know how to easily deploy it on AWS, right? And share it with the world. And with more complex, uh, complex projects, uh, you know, we'll build more complicated Docker files. We'll use Docker Compose, uh, Swarm, sometimes even Kubernetes, and we'll also deploy those projects. So don't worry about that. So, but now you know the basics of AWS and AWS CLI and you know, Docker Machine, and all, all these things work together. 
so uh, thanks a lot for watching do stay subscribed to the channel because we have a lot of projects um, coming up and if you uh, are new to this channel you should know that golang we have more than 100 golang videos on this channel where you can learn and you can build projects um, so and uh, basically the, the type of projects that if you put on your cv you'll easily get a job with golang so those are the type of projects that we have on our channel and thanks a lot for watching and see you in the next video